I mean, y'all could not do an all-star season without me. Like, I'm being for real. Like, who else could, like, be more recognizable than me? Um, how about Moni? Well, she's not in this competition. Uh, yeah, she is. Oh, shit. Yeah, she is, actually. Never mind. Hold on. Oop, she's gonna kill me for that. Ooh, girl, don't show that in the final cut, okay? <laughs> What's up, y'all? It's me, Savvy Fornada, from ANTM Season 1. The OG bitch is back. The OG runner-up is back. Girl, I'm back! Did y'all miss me? I know you did, because I'm so grateful to be back for All Stars. How am I an All Star? Girl. That question is so, I could go on and on. Listen, I was the first ever transgender contestant to come out on the show, to compete on the show, and to make it to runner up to second place. Bitch, I went there. I went there and I took it. I was going at 100% season one. I was doing challenges, I was winning challenges, I was slaying, I was slaughtering all the girls. But in the end, Eliza, she beat me to it, and she got that crown. I think that's the one thing I want to get this season, is I want to glow up and show everybody what Savvy's all about, you know? So that's why I think I'm an all-star. Let me, after season one, the reason I thought about going back I thought like we were gonna do something All-Stars related. And I was like, I would love to return and go back. And you know me, girl, I had to go ahead and, you know, go and get it. Cause that's sad for nada, period. I mean, but I think I wanted to come back the most because I, I felt like in season one, I feel like people really loved my energy and they loved what I was giving and I loved my representation and I did too. But after my season, you know, a and really put me on the mark. I released my debut single. I did three or two albums. I'm doing one right now. And I I worked with some of the greatest artists of all time. And I, and I feel like all of that has really helped me. And I haven't done much modeling since. I've been on a couple magazine covers. I've done a couple things like that. And I'm, I'm grateful for that. You know, a and has really put me on the map. Of course, it would be fun to go back to the place where you originally started out. So that's kind of why I debated on going back to All Stars. What is something the fans will be surprised to see from me? Hmm. I think fans will be really surprised to see Savvy. They're going to be unexpected by what I do. They're gonna, they're gonna be so unexpected. You know, it's been a while since I've been on TV and I'm excited to go back on and I'm excited to surprise everyone and I'm gonna leave everybody wondering what I'm gonna do next each and every week. So that's the tea on that. Girl, all stars with one word, bitch. That's not the word I by the way, I'm just kidding. Um, hmm. I'd have to say all stars in one word. Bananas. No, not the, I already heard someone say that actually. Never mind, I'm gonna say something else. Um, crazy. No, no, crap. What have, what have people never said before? Ugh, oh, it's hard, you know? describe such a great season like this it's really difficult but honestly i'll just let y'all judge that watch the season enjoy it well i mean i've had the opportunity to go around the world i've had the opportunity to slay and with everything that a and tm has given me i've walked all over the world and I've seen so many people and I've, I've talked to so many people who honestly have 
who watched me on season one and they told me that they're inspired by me and they they felt a sense of wow if she can do it so can i and i and i'm grateful for my trans people i'm grateful for the trans community and i'm grateful for um to represent all people of color who are transgender you know that's me that's that's my brand and i'm grateful that my run on season one has inspired so many people and i want to inspire a whole new generation of slayjins hot girls all kinds of people in season in, in all stars one you know i'm ready to show the world the representation that we all deserve so.